like in game soldier, one but it's still exciting I mean, you can't get around meters, the fact that you have to look on the optical side of the screen and you want to look at the eyeballs on the left side of the screen. And just, just yeah. Weird. Damn, didn't get messages from Shirley. Yeah, someone said something. Whoa. So, where, where, where's the most frontmost elephant now? So it's equal between uh, 1 and 2, but uh, 2 is very, very close to, like, the, the, the road and across the road into the main compound. Although 1 is closer to, like, the, the inner circle, which is about 100 meters. Going in 1, meters, contact report, um, engage and killed uh, enemy radius sentry from the group compound. 100 to 200 meters south of our position. Ammo and medical read. Copy on all Dragon 1, proceed with objective out. Confirm, current objective is assault the town, over. Affirm it, over. Uh, Dragon the 2 is now moving in along the road, uh, you guys may proceed on assault, over. Roger, <laughs> wave 1, we have a complication, we have civilians uh, running yeah. away. I, as I, well they so close, I have to be. Uh, yeah. Okay, Ghost Rider now at 700 meter with the ground target time out. Ghost Rider now I can look into it. Very actual Dragon 1, we have captured one time civilian who made a run for it, over. Uh, received Dragon 1, uh, Dragon 2 is currently under fire from the ground target over. Move to support Dragon. Uh, Dragon 2 is taking fire. Uh, Roger. Roger, Dragon 2 is Okay, Dragon 2, yeah, you're engaged at the town, at the front end of the town, right side, right, a tree line right of the road, that's where the enemies are. Good shot in Targus. It's kind of this um, uh, kind of slightly depressing when the when the so-called close air support chopper, which has no weapons, is putting good effect on target on the infantry on the ground. Oh yeah, and you are way far. Are you, are you flying on the 700 meter now, right? Yeah, actually slightly inside of it. So I, I'm close enough to see infantry if I. Zoom in, although, like I said, zooming is complicated because that's where I get the issue with the, the eyes. And the yeah. Okay, Dragon 2 Okay, Dragon 1, enemy infantry squad uh, on the middle right side of town, moving on your position. Right. One, two, try and flank from the right side of 1-1's one, position. Roger, moving. One, one, two, and one actual are withdrawing cover. It looks like Dragon One has to pull back a bit. We're still pushing around the left track. Yeah, they are. Negative. Uh, see, like, see a lot of smoke in the area. Crowd to cover from and hold that position. We have withdrawn a few. They actually have a good uh, smoke barrier between them and back. the operate. Ah, oh, them and the camp. Oh, yeah, they're left. Pulling back. 
I'm not sure, I haven't heard anything from Echo yet. Uh, Dragon 1 actual, uh, we have got further enemies uh, on our left, uh, your right. Uh, are you still or right at your position, over? Well, that deck, we're taking fire. This is Dragon actual, mm. in close contact, uh, have, have one fire team with several wounded, but we are still combat effective, over. Alright, so several Just wounded. Stood, uh, up. Contact, 144, infantry. 144. Check close, 130. 1, 2, 1, actual, sit rep, over. Two set up just uh, left of one one. Uh, we're uh, taking fire with uh, reinforcing our position. Over. Roger. Peel back your... north, down off of that hill if you need to and regroup with one one. Copy that. Filling back. What is your altitude? Altitude. Probably like. A hundred and eighty. No, sorry, what is it? No, no, it's 205. There aren't 200. Okay. No, I was just worried about the triggers for the that script, but like that altitude for that thing is 50 meters, so you're still way away. Yeah, I was a bit lower, but no lower than like 120. Yeah. Okay, uh, Dragon 1, all the enemies who are approaching you are concentrated on where you're firing already, so you just focus there. Right. Dragon 1, two, one, two, one actual sit rep. Oh, that's what my screen is. <laughs> okay. because my zoo screen is also like going black. I don't actually have to do too much using, I'm just like, there's nothing else to do in the helo, but like, at some point, I have to do one thing which I couldn't script. Well, I, mean, I probably could if I use timers. Two, one, one, and one actual moving from your left flank to assist. Negative for coming to you. Roger, we are currently uh, overwatching the terrain. Oh, they did a good, good, good job drawing out the enemies into the opening and clearing them. They're actually doing a really good job in general. Like, no one is flanking them or pushing past them or. They're using the smoke also really, really effective. Checking out Dragon 2. Well, they set up trenches and everything. Dragon 1. Dragon 2. Dragon, oh, sorry, now. Dragon 2, yeah. Dragon 1 also set up trenches. They have regrouped, I see. Yeah. Oh, I see them now. I see one enemy. One enemy aiming a gun at us. 
on the left end of town. Uh, Dragon 1, there's three guys in the center of town, far side of road, and then one guy in between the easternmost red uh, cargo containers. Right. casualties. Uh, Dragon 2, just gonna say again, there's three guys on the southern side of the road, center of town, one enemy at, at the, at around the easternmost uh, red cargo containers out. Uh, Dragon 1, Dragon 2. Send over. Uh, we are south, southwest of town, coming in. In other words, uh, from the southwest, you go southwest. Uh, you can see us on the sea tab, just be aware of friendly fire. Roger, I have your relative position. We are about to conduct um, a bounding assault towards the town and clear out the remaining forces of it. Okay, Roger, we're moving up out. Dragon 1, you have one enemy on the left end of town with a road at, at the end, end of the road flanking you, moving towards you. Right? guys on the ground look very angry at me. All pointing guns at me, we can't see them. You think you're moving too fast? Yeah, if, if, they, if they have a little probability of hitting you, they're not going to try hit. Okay, when these dragon is like right at in, in, entering town, I'm going to try and spot the closest ones. Anyways. Uh, Dragon 2, biggest building, center of town, enemy front door facing, uh, like, uh, f on, on the side of the building facing you, one guy over there. Fighting. That's hard looking. Strange. Fighting 160 one, by the red container. One man. Yeah. That was, um, that was cited as possible, identify before you engage, so we are expecting civilian presence. Uh, this is uh, one one FTL. Confirm enemy has got guns pointing up at Hilo. You are clear to take him out. Okay. That's strange. He's looking. He's pointing the gun up in the air, but he's not pointing at me. I think he lost me for some reason. Yeah, he's really dumb. Wait, the Hilo was wasn't there, but it's not there anymore. Where could it be? Two target, two uh, men, 160. 
Okay, uh, I didn't actually look for LZs yet, you know, I was told. To. I think it's safe to actually land in the farm field. Yeah, it should be. Uh, another contact, 130. Okay, another one is to the southeast end of town, the big clearing. Uh, red there. container, behind red container. Yeah, I think looking at the field, like okay, towards the east, two. there's a big push, valley, push, push, which is not going to be strong. Be good landing zone. Okay, but like to the north, where Dragon One made entrenchments, you can one possibly extra, land there. There's just short trees you can push down first. Part, the southernmost building within the town along the road over. Not sure. Do you think those fields are big enough? Going to, to Dragon land One, it? Roger, Stop Dragon Stop. Two in the southernmost building out. And also west, uh, west the road going out west is uh, it gets one pretty copy. clear. Another option. Just see. This looks like a good approach. Yeah, so I'm coming from this angle onto either of those two fields. I can land over there. The easternmost field looks like it's on a bit too much, a bit, a bit of a slope. I can't really tell. There's also a rock in the middle of it, so no. Actually, like, yeah, towards the wall, the west, the north, just, just north of the road. Dragon 1, Dragon 2, It's fairly flat. So that you know where we are. Is it this book or still? Uh, 1, 2, be one. advised, you are pushing towards Dragon 2's building. Uh, one is acting in the building, civilian, and out. Uh, the civilian is in the building on the eastmost side grid one one four four zero five four actually four. The, the buildings should have been numbered before and it looks like not give you any markers to place into pre -ms. it we did uh, that's what the markers was on the map on the C oh tab it's a few the of them it's marked at the end of the main road on the south side Got some, uh, left. One, someone is shooting at us, yeah. Uh, we got contact left, uh, so to the east, possible reinforcements, uh, re re arrange, uh, changing orbit to investigate that. We'll do a strange wave shifting orbit. It's a terrible wave shifting orbit. It looks evasive. Yeah, they're shooting at someone to the east. Yeah, I think they have eyes on the guys who shot us. Helps that we're actually up here being shot at, so if we're trolling for fire. Yeah, it's in dense, dense foliage, not just huge squat. Someone is shooting at us. Uh, one, two, one actual. At the building we mentioned earlier, we have one hostile surrendering as well as the civilian. To the north yes. of that, we have sporadic fire from enemy content. Move up carefully on the south side towards that building and uh, attempt to rescue civilians and engage contact. Copy that, walking through there. Through there.
They haven't called to land yet. I guess they don't feel safe yet. How big uh, the hip? This hip has big um, rotor blades. That's the only thing I'm worried, worried about with that dimension of the rotor blades. Get the building and hold position, and then wait for further instructions. Okay. Yeah, but these rotor blades are very down. high as well. And I'm, well, the trees are very high, so I'm sure about the, uh, looking at the gap. You want to go in between those trees, uh, moving towards the uh, fields to the, on the north side of the road. So let's yeah. this, this gap right now. I want to go to the gap land on the field, that field. One, two, say again. Not again, not again. Not this clip. Position. Yeah, I think I see the one guy looking in the field. Okay, uh, Dragon Elements, one enemy south southeast of Target Town moving towards you, flying over him now, he's on my right. Okay, I want the body team who's up ahead to head south towards those red containers. You should find one surrendering enemy and one civilian. Attempt to clear the area of any active hostiles and then detain the two. I don't think they heard you. But I was speaking on the 152, right? Uh, Dragon 5, Dragon Extra, we need you at Dragon 2's location, over. Triggered some of the, the triggers, so there's some somebody's bleeding out. Copy that. Actually, I should just remember the thing I gave you didn't put them on sleep or I didn't. Put them unconscious any of that stuff. Yeah, no, it's okay. I think they'll, they'll, they'll get there before everyone wants there, I hope. I made the triggers a little bigger because they were so small. So I was scared like they, they were going to trigger them right before they ran into the so I made them bigger, but like over. I think 50 meters was a bit over. And? Uh, need your Dragon 1 is getting too great. I think two of them now. South of, uh, Those three positions. AO, over. You know what, it might make Roger sense if I, I drop you off and you probably help him with some of the stuff. Yeah, we need to, I'll talk to Echo quickly. Dragon 5, uh, this is CMT coming over. Send over. Uh, you should let me know if you need us to land, I can assist you over. I got it, for now, thanks. Out.
Dragon 2, Dragon 5 on the second from the old east. Oh. Roger. That's not for us, Mr. Chief. That's you, he's just come down from the building, correct? I need him, I'm down here securing the town. I think what I'll actually do is come in from the east and land on the central field that's on the south side of the road. Because I have the best clearance, it's on a slightly upper road slope with a clear field, so yeah. I'm gonna do that. Or the downside of the tail road is pointed towards them, but it's gonna make my attention because. Uh, Nigel, I'm just gonna land on the civilians. Over. Roger, uh, I'll report it up, uh, make sure that the area is clear of explosives and insurgents and stand by for orders. Roger, some of them are Dragon, actual, conscious, Dragon uh, 1, critical. we have located a container them? loaded with hostages, scanning the area for explosives and uh, enemy resistance. After it's clear, request orders, over. Uh, roger that one actual, should the area be clear, uh, request relay for medevac for the civilians, over. Roger, do we have an LP planned, over? Uh, Ghost Rider was instructed to scout for one, however, I believe the best landing spot will be the road uh, directly south of the town, over. Uh, this is Ghost Rider, central, f uh, cent central field south side of road, that's what I have my eyes on, over. Roger, um, let us know if when you have a decent LZ, we will continue preparing the area and the civilians to be extracted out. Uh, Sherman, radio check? Then, Dover. I'll just radio check, so I didn't hear my last about the LZ I have in mind, over. I did, yes, but you didn't say you decided on that LZ yet. Okay, well, that's my decision. I also note that you were speaking of a Bucky, Bucky was asking about, that's not Bucky, sorry, sh which is asking about uh, if they should treat them, the wounded civilians. They found a lot of wounded. Provide initial medical support until Dragon 5 arrives. Sherman and them are standing right next to the container full of sieves, but they haven't cleared it yet. Hmm. 
I can also um, have their landing as well. Yeah, they spoke about landing and then they sort of like brushed them off again. Oh, because, yeah, because it probably some more time for them. This is what the fuck? Uh, E5 at blue smoke. This is during one we have found a second container full of uh, civilians. Most of them are already dead. Uh, Roger that, let me expedite out the uh, ghost runner so the CMT can join us with uh, medical over. Okay, this is Ghost Rider uh, inbound at my LZ. Now it's Dragon 1, Dragon 2 is currently sitting out, or can there be of any assistance to maybe uh, load up uh, uh, mobile civilians onto the Ghost Rider while he lands over? Alright, I'm gonna jump out and help them, alright? That's the idea. Escorting prisoners. Okay, I've deposited CMTs on the ground now. So, Dragon, do you guys see where I landed over? I'll take that as a no, uh, just let um, the CMT tell you where the LZ is now. Ghost Rider actual saw uh, LZ world relay out. On one on one two. One one. Yeah, we cleared out the one survivor of the one or two survivors already. There were a few alive, but the rest are all dead.
first road on this is extra. I'm going to mark a new proposed uh, LZ for you in blue smoke. You can advise whether you prefer it or not, over. We'll go out. That's fine. Awesome. Ghost Rider, I think we have enough uh, civilians for you to load up already. Uh, if you wanna start landing in, and we'll see how many we can load in one trip over. We'll go out. Okay, Dragon 2 is holding security. Understood, Dragon 1. Uh, please load civilians only onto the uh, chopper this time. Over. over. Alright, uh, one actual... Stop with the loading guys, we need some people to unload as well. Over. Uh, Dragon 2, kindly uh, escort the helo back to base. Uh, you guys will be assisting him with uh, unloading. You'll come back with the second trip, over. Copy that. Uh, copy. Guys, try to drag it to boarding. Uh, who's the ground controller? I drag it to boarding. Uh, wrong one. Dragon one will take control of uh, ground control in the interim. Okay, Dragon two on uh, being getting. No, hey, I'm not the pilot. Dragon 2 on board. Bean, are you in now? Are you out again? Stand by, Dragon 2, not on board. Stand by, because we are in two these. Ground control to go side A, clear to take off. No, 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 no. How fast my dog check it in? Yeah. Go side A, do you copy? 
Hold on, it's heavy. Just leaving our vehicle there. Yeah, we'll be coming back. Oh, okay. Alright, everyone is uh, not bleeding, everyone is happy. Yeah. Are you guys, are you guys good? Yeah. Yeah, yeah we, we're going to unload the guys, the uh, civilians, and come back. Okay, cool. Hey guys, who's ground controller at the base? Uh, to be uh, zero. Okay. And we just had a green light to stay to the ground controller. Then we just had a green light to stay to the ground controller. Shift T. Got it. Thank you. Okay, guys. When we when we land, uh, I should have a look where we live because the civilians and we'll move them all there. Then after we get back on the chopper. Do you want me to land on, on the same LG that I just started on? Yeah, they pro probably spot that. I mean, we could just pick at different LZs for each drop of civilians, so we don't have to move them very far. I'm not sure if oh, there's, there's no buildings around there, it's pretty, pretty open, eh? Things. Yeah, you can put them in the middle of the runway, there's no other aircraft. <laughs> yeah, look, as close to the field hospital as possible. Okay, let me just have a quick look where that is. Oh, okay, so I'll land on the left in LZ then. The yeah. The medical one. Yeah. Okay, touch down. Keep everybody out. Okay, getting up.
special message. Send over. Um, I got half your orders before I DC'd. Uh, I got some orders from my guys. Just give you me the, the time gunners, where I need to meet you guys. Uh, you meet us at the LZ. The timestamp that you need to take reference of is 1612. That's where we left the hostage who right, ran uh, into us. Let's try to all on board. So you need to take one vehicle over there to pick him up and make sure that you get both Dragon 1 and Dragon 2's vehicles at the staging areas. Uh, Roger on all. Uh, we're already at the D1 staging. We've got the two vehicles. We're picking up hostage and driving to D2 staging. Alright, Roger. Up. Okay, this is Ghost Rider. We've uh, dropped off ca uh, civilians at at base. Uh, where do you want to go now, over? Roger, Ground Controller will be ready to receive uh, Dragon 1 1 additional. The D2 vehicles are at timestamp 1558 on the CJ. 1558. Roger, up. Dragon Actual's Ghost Rider, should I land at the LZ again, over? Dragon 1, yes, we have the LZ still secure and we have the civilians here waiting for boarding. Look out. Uh, actual uh, Dragon 2. Yeah. Um, we'll be jumping out at the LZ and then just footing it back to get our vehicle over. Right. Uh, negative Dragon 2, I've had delivered to have been delivered to the LZ for you, over. Oh, thank you very much, Art. Uh, friendlies, uh, K, we got two bigs, uh, friendlies coming into town. Okay, all out. Dragon 2 will be boarding the chopper again for the second flight.
Dragon 2 report when you're loaded. I'll just stand by. Okay, Dragon 2 on board. Um, Ghost Rider, actual, dust this off. Is one actual message. Ghost Rider, you are clear for takeoff, dust off. Uh, send over. Um, one actual got another couple of civilians at uh, D2 staging area. Throw them in the back of the vehicle. We have a few extra here, so we'll probably need to do a third trip. Understood, we load. Uh, one one was that next end of this charge over. Uh, negative. There was just one enemy body that we double tapped. Roger. Out. Okay, Ghost Rider, the same LZ as last time. Yeah. Uh, Ghost Rider and Dragon 2, you will not be required for another trip. We will be returning with the remaining uh, hostages in our victors. Uh, Roger, you'll be bringing Dragon 2's victor as well. Yes, we ha will be bringing all three victors. Roger, we'll stay at, uh, at base. I'm going I'm to I'm gonna escort the vehicles uh, if you want to stay in for that. Yeah, we can we can do that. Yeah, we'll we'll take the gunners. Let's... All right, Victor's RTB. Okay, all out. Uh, big one turning right. Vic one is turning left. Vic two turning left.
you at one point six. Yeah, it goes right all aboard. Okay, this is Ghost Ride. Uh, 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 dropped off civilians at base. I am uh, escorting uh, Dragon Ground units with Dragon 2 and Chopper now. the other gun, eh? I am. Okay. Yes, this chopper's quick, eh? Yeah. It's red lining now. in front of us, below us now. Track it says it's with the second bus vehicle. Yeah, they're quite a quite a uh, far flight uh, port. Considering right? And um, Dragon, you have insanely wide spaces between the lead vehicle and the other vehicles. Yeah, I was not sure how that's happening. Someone does another speed limiter on, and they're probably at the front. Keep turning right. I thought you were expecting a lead vehicle to drive over a nuclear IED mine or something. <laughs> it's probably Bucky's driving. That depends if it's in vehicle one over. Then it is the nuclear weapon. Yeah. Well, at this point, I'm not entirely sure I trust my team because whatever that screeching from whoever's mic that was pretty much crashed my game.
Okay, touchdown. How's the, how's this guy's Bermuda shorts? Nice. She wears warm making shoes. Yeah. I imagine which is. Yeah, it looks pretty much like what I would imagine. Where do we stand? Uh, stand by. Let me just him away. I don't know. Can I not? 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 It's future planning for the base, yes. Um, well, I, I, I quite like that angle. Maybe the hangar with the helicopter? Or do we want to throw yeah. the vehicles in there as well? Oh, you can do whatever you want. Uh, you, can go, you can go all okay. professional or you can go like, I don't care. This is the screenshot. But... Well, well, okay. Personally, me, I, I, I'm, I've, never, I've never been good at taking photos. So for me, it's always been like, eh? Uh, well, Apparently we can't Beb's get all the it. civilians in when they're in a line, no, so we'll maybe if we Beb's pile them all up. Beb's is on it for you. I can't see bombs, but I can see pictures. What, <laughs> <laughs> you like this angle? Yeah, and then we all crouch down here. Shit. Okay, I suppose. Oh, uh, if I can get all your names, yeah, that'll work. The only time that Peps willingly crouches in front of me. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I've got yeah, bad news. Bring this guy up front for you know PR. It looks like he's holding a gun. What the? Uh... Oh, he put it on his shoulder. Oh yeah, that's not good. Is it... <laughs> yeah, no, no, leave him. Where I just is. love how he just like takes him back. <laughs> and then that's not good. We'll just put him back in the line. He's been playing so much for VR. <laughs> Sherman, it's an air okay. rifle. Okay. Oh and my. Boy. Okay, so Wait. can I see everyone's names? Not really. We'll make a plan. We we don't need to take off helmets. No, we do not. I vote <laughs> I've I vote we keep this you in helmets. Oh yeah, we're keeping it. Okay, in that case, uh n uh n next training we'll be doing PvP and your team will be wearing the blue helmets. <laughs> <laughs> no thank you. <laughs> Change my mind. And we're done, yeah. Well, what's it? One civilian that tuned me? Was it this one? Yeah, it's that one in the black there, yeah. No, which is the one that kept escaping his handcuffs. Yeah, it's that one. And be lucky I'm not it's a good one. shot tonight. <laughs> yeah, he did, he did not, this guy did not want to cooperate with us. Mm. There were a the few of them that were not cooperative. Certain, right. at least, I'm certain that a couple managed to run from the camp before we got there, and are probably still out in the jungle. Oh, I'm sure they'll be fun. Someone um, will meet them. Are sure. we gonna brief here or on the outside game? No, we can brief here. Yeah. I think I think it'll be uh, simple enough. Go right. Go. So from CO side, uh, we inserted as planned. Uh, the team separated at waypoint 6, uh, the bus at the relevant staging areas, uh, at which point I believe Dragon 1, uh, while moving towards the uh, salt point, uh, they uh, walked into a uh, ambush or some, or a group of infantry, and then uh, that basically kicked off the engagement. Uh, Dragon 2 was able to successfully 
assist in the hitting the enemies that were flanking them from the sides while Dragon One fended off for themselves. Uh, once the initial contact was dealt with, both fire teams or well, both teams moved in towards the town and they secured the remainder of the servers and eliminated any of the hostiles. Uh, Ghost Rod also provided decent overwatch from above and uh, useful information. And we took no casualties. That's it from me. Uh, Sherman, if you want to add anything to that, maybe from your perspective. Um, the only things of particular note that happened were when we moved to basically to AP1, we had a group coming in towards us. We killed off the smaller group. The fire teams were essentially split sort of like this. We ended up taking contact from a larger group. We had one, two pushing in a little too far and taking some casualties, destroying back where we met our civilian friend. Um, regrouped both teams here, fought for most of the resistance, pushed forward. Nothing much of interest happened other than that ungodly static screeching that literally crashed my game towards the end. All right. Dragon 2. I think uh... the, as we were moving up, the, uh, the fact that the uh, enemy was moving towards Dragon 1 gave us really a, an open shooting target so quite easy to take out the, on the flank so that you, uh, pretty much we we basically held security over the the town from the uh, south uh, southwest most of the most of the rest of the operation okay uh, dragon 5 from your side uh, nothing much from my side. Uh, didn't have any casualties. Managed to treat the two or three hostages that were injured. Unfortunately, we did lose 11 in the crates, but they were dead when I got there. Didn't have any okay. casualties, but you treated some. That's what you just said. <laughs> no, no, like KIAs, I mean. Oh, okay. I uh, Ghost Rod, any general points from your side? So is this still what happened or what went right? No, oh, what happened? What happened? Uh no, uh, I think I think it's just a more implied or covered. Yeah oh, okay, so now we can move on to what went right. I think uh, in general the op uh, execution operation of the plan went exactly as I envisioned. Uh, the pincer maneuver, as I planned, also worked quite nicely between the two squads, and they were independent of each other well enough that they weren't in their way, but also close enough that they could support each other if need be. You sound proud of yourself. <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> very, 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 definitely better than I thought. Anyone else want to add anything? Uh, I think. Go ahead. I think just from a smaller fire team perspective, um, from the initial onset from AP one to the actual engagements and follow through and everything. Uh, one one did actually everything to the book, um, fixing enemies, uh, falling back. I think from my side, I, I really enjoyed playing with one one tonight. Just in general, our fire team. Yeah, same thing with me. And also the thing we did is we were reading what one one was doing, and then we we're doing what necessary, what was necessary to fill in the gaps. So like. The flags they couldn't cover, we, we covered it, and uh, the angles they couldn't get, we, we got to them. We actually used our fucking for, uh, uh, hand grenades in a, in a very good attempt. Well, not an actual attempt, but we were actually very effective on those enemies that pushed on us. Yeah. See why they're called defensive hand grenades? Mm. Yeah, for sure. That should yeah, be uh, for sure. I mean, it's a pity we, we couldn't record or stream that, but the, yeah, I mean, that was spot on. Like, I did record. I mean, Did you? I, oh, awesome. I, I recorded. Yeah. I, I recorded my flight. I didn't. I, I'm just gonna edit together, together a short little video and up to upload it to the ZA channel. You guys can do the same with your own videos. Just, just, okay. just like a short clip, just, just smash together the interesting bits. Cool. Okay, Ghost Rider or Dragon Two. If you had anything else to add on that point. No, I, you know, I think the, I think the Overwatch generally on the attacking element was was good, and there were there was nothing specific. Uh, from from my side, um, the 
choppers uh, didn't uh, I mean I, I didn't expect normally I don't expect to see any infantry especially in trees but I did fly uh, kind of quite low um, which was possible because they didn't have any heavy weapons so if there were some small arms and they sh take some pot shots at me I can just change uh, just just sh move a little faster so uh, th the observation works a lot better than normal because they basically have um, like the very little, very little hardware now that you mentioned that, another thing that went right was you flying, uh, you flying so low, uh, kind of distracted the enemies, and they were all fixated yeah. on you versus the us. So it was a lot yeah. easier for us to engage them. Yeah, they, they looked at me so angrily, like, like yeah. <laughs> did you did you take any did you take any fire? Uh, they fired a couple of rounds past me. Uh, it was funny oh, enough. I saw them shooting at the choppers. Well. Yeah, well, f funny enough, one one guy even lost track of where I am. He c he couldn't figure out that I was orbiting around. It's quite strange. He <laughs> couldn't find me. <laughs> yeah, they're pretty much walking around like that. Exactly. Um, okay. Uh, what went wrong? I got, um, I got shot in the head. That was the only thing that I could say. And that was my mistake because I was like a fucking little dusty behind my cover, like that. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. Um, well, maybe maybe uh, the civilians being dead, uh, could it be something to do with our response time? Or was it something so we could improve on? Do you want me to tell that now? Or... Uh, oh, yeah, you might as well. Because I'm, I'm struggling to find anything that went wrong. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Control. So it's it's it, no. It was a mission thing. Okay. Um, I initially had the triggers. Uh, so let's just say like there's a little thing there. I initially had the trigger set like this. So when you guys like came in came into this little area here, oh, you probably can't see my markers because I'm in the wrong channel. Global. Mm. Yeah. No, okay. Wait. Let me go. Let me clearly draw for this. Oh, sorry. So uh, let's just say that there was. What's happening? All right, let's try this again. There we go. Let's say that is the um, container. The, the original trigger trigger was set just square, but was set that size. And then the problem was like when I tested the mission, like as soon as you enter this, like you'll see the people fall through the building. So I made it bigger and then I made it slightly too bigger. So like one trigger was this big. And then, you know, there was... I mean, there was two cases here. There was one trigger was this big, and then one trigger was this big. Um, so when you guys just entered this woodland over here, I mean, the first trigger triggered for that one, and then Dragon uh, Muchi's team came through here, and then they wasted a lot of time in this area here. They triggered it, and then they wasted time here, and then so they never got to that point. And then Sherman's team over here um, was holding security, after securing like four um, civilians, but the crate was just off to the road, so no one actually thought to like to go check that one place until later uh, when Pebs ran up and then saw that that thing also had. So I think I just made the triggers too big. If the triggers were smaller, they would not have bled out like that. They would have been injured but not bled out, which was the main idea. So I'm not going to be too harsh on you guys for letting them bleed out like that. Well, uh, we can still take that as a negative point. So we, we, we could say that at the end of the day, the objective was we knew that the civilians were our priority one and we should have uh, prioritized getting to them as fast as possible. Yeah. Just want to yeah. add, um, when it comes to one, two, I also think that on our communication could have been a little bit better. Um, there was a lot of times when, for example, Reno and I didn't really know what our plan moving forward was and where we were heading. Yeah. yeah, you're you're right. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. So I think we're kind of moving fast, and I was using grits for the most time, most of the time. So yeah. uh, it was uh, kind of uh, uh, I split up into Alpha Bravo team so that we could uh, kind of move faster. So uh, yeah, yeah. That's what happened. But I should have uh, should have uh, communicated more. Yeah, I suppose the clearing of the town was a little slow. Um, you know that that could have been quick. I suppose. I yeah. mean, it's all in relation. I mean, yeah. would we, one, have known about you know, civilians bleeding out? No. no I mean, that, that that's not really tangible information for yeah. us to make it a rush job. Uh, yeah. There's still the, the, the 
uh, set standard that clearing a town is methodical and a process. So, I mean, if you lose five people because of either I either being shot by an enemy or shot in the crossfire, I mean, these things are all plausible and real. I don't think we could have made it any faster or saved any more lives than we should. Because, I mean, bloody hell, we've made a whole base with this wall. Mm. Yeah. Um, um, actually, one thing along the uh, thing to do with the attack, I think kind of partly went wrong. I was asking people, like, wondering which buildings are which sometimes. Is I think probably marking out um, the buildings beforehand probably would have been helpful. Oh, that's a very good point, actually, yes. I think uh, that would have helped a lot with the clearing. Uh, yeah. I'm not. I'm not sure if there's something to went wrong, but um, my vehicle's uh, <laughs> throttle is one sponsored by MTN, and my throttle was stuck on two occasions. <laughs> <laughs> at, at, at full open. Yeah. Coincidentally. I, 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 th I thought that that my helicopter's flight speed made you insecure. You're like trying to compensate. <laughs> <laughs> Phoenix, we were actually worried about you. That first OZ that you made, you know how close you came with your tow rotor to that red container. Don't worry. That was all part of the plan. Crossing thumbs, toes, index fingers, you name it, it was crossed for you. In fact, we already had the body bags out. Yeah. Take and Zero uh, sitting there going, oh gosh. Here uh, we go, here I, we go. I, I really want to mention this, because that's a, honestly how I feel. That last bit of straight, right? From, where was this? Uh, from waypoint 5 when you cross the river, that massive straight going to waypoint 4. I was hitting 135 kilometers an hour. I know. And then, then I see Phoenix is chopping. I feel like that was the fucking policeman with a radar gun pulling you off. <laughs> <laughs> At the corner of waypoint 4, and I'm like, oh, uh, fuck, he's going to give me a ticket. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, then he just uh, gl glosses right through the gas station like he needs more gas. <laughs> okay, and so, lastly, what can we learn from our mistakes? So, better team communication, speed limiter. Mark the buildings up, up front, <laughs> speed limiter. Um, yeah, that's it. And maybe, if possible, finding a balance between clearing and priority of targets or something like that. But obviously that's situational and dependent on ISOP. Um, Africa. Nice. Yeah. How many enemies were there? Much more than 17, that's for sure. Well, I never said 17. Just so, just so I'm clear. Um, no, no, no. no. I, 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 I actually watched the video this time and they're like 17. I'm like, okay, cool. So maybe 20, 25, I expect. Yeah. So the... I placed a lot of enemies there, uh, but uh, like I, I told someone in the car, I think, the idea actually was that I would make half of them flee or make them all flee. Um, so when you guys arrived, I would have like had them with uh, the Zamp, ah, with the Zamp, with uh, lambs run away, and then you guys would see them flee. Um, and then you guys would still be engaging some of them because obviously I was glitchy. But anyway, so what happened was like you guys arrived and started shooting them, and it was like twenty to nine, and I was like, uh, "Yeah, maybe making them run away now is gonna make this mission like twenty minutes longer, and then it's gonna be done." So I decided I'll let you guys fight half of them, and then when you got to half, I started making them flee, and then Alma was like, "Nah, bro, this is not happening." So <laughs> you guys just <laughs> you, say, yeah. you fought all of them. <laughs> not one step back. <laughs> no, because uh, yeah. I, I did notice when we did the first engagement, I mean, we fixed them and we finished the enemy really fast, uh, the first set. Oh, yeah. And then then all of a sudden, when 1-2 was taking some casualties, we went in and the amount of uh, fire from the enemy was not crazy, but yeah, I mean, you had to move and you had to move cleverly. Look, the, 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 the yeah. town is very small, but the town was full of contacts, full of contacts. But I mean, it was still less than 80. Uh, it wasn't like a insane amount. Um, but for like the little town, I mean, if you look at the photo, if you look at the mission um, file, uh, like there's a lot of red in that town from, from the guys.
Okay. But yeah, no, I think you guys did really well. I was looking at Jen's use because like I was, I was just chilling in the healer the whole time. So on, Africa, you guys did really well. You guys did like smoke, like break contact of smoke, fall back, regroup, dig in. Like it was really cool, really good stuff. Just yeah. for the record, Africa IT. <laughs> use IT. I won't use IT in the in that open area. Like I use IT like if it's like more obscure or something like that. Yeah, you like you're talking almost you. You're going towards a small battalion now, you know. <laughs> I mean, he didn't give yeah, us. Yeah, well, a 79. Like the, the thing is, like on average, like if if Zeta kills two people, that's already 40, and like two people per person is not that many. If you don't consider the fact that some people mow 10 people at a shot down once, <laughs> um, it's uh, yeah. You have to like it depends on the terrain and the area. I'm sure the mission makers know. Yeah. Yeah, South Africa, you can add more if you want. I mean, you're the last partner. You can say what well, your intentions and if, what we did. If we did well, the, on the intention mission or whatever. was really to make them run away, to make them flee like they did in real life. That was actually the plan. Um, the, the timing is just like the mission would have been too fast. So I, you guys missed out on seeing them run away from you, unfortunately. Not, nice mission. Thank you, Africa. Yeah, yeah. thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks, yeah. Africa. Yeah. It's good. To be honest, you probably saved us from a war crime because we would have executed them as they were running away. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I was literally just thinking, why didn't we have a blocking force? No, <laughs> hot, mowed hot them hot down hot. as they ran. <laughs> <laughs> I was literally thinking that. My no, and that's why you are have... not CO. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Well, I'm glad you guys liked it. And it's good. Yeah, it was good. Okay. Hey, any, anything else? Otherwise, I'm going to go hashtag message. Uh, who said something about my vehicle that didn't get why that vehicle was sponsored by MTN? That was me. I got it now. Oh, do you? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I <am>. yes. <laughs> yeah, okay, I'm done. <laughs>